Hello, my name is Sierra, and this is my significant other, Juan, and we are currently at the park just hanging out and planning out our day and what we're going to do and what we've already done, um, but I thought that it would be fun to record just like a chill day of us just kind of messing around and relaxing and making art um, so we could just have a little hangout sesh and chill out together. Okay, so this is me taking out all of my art supplies. That raggedy little thing is just what I use to wipe my wet paintbrushes on to clean them off. Um, and then I have tape, and um, I use the three primary colors to mix my own shades because I think it's just like a nice little addition to your own art and it's also a little bit more zelo waste so i like that i have that beauty blender that's also raggedy because it makes cool texture and then that was just a box of pencils and black paint and then my super professional bag of 25 paint brushes that i got at michael's for 4.99 and then now I think I'm describing my sketchbook, which believe it or not, it took me probably 25 minutes to figure out the name of my sketchbook. Um, I forgot that it was called a sketchbook, so I'm pushing everything everything to the side. And as you can tell, Juan sometimes gets very interested when I do that because I do this often. I just make a mess and then I push everything to the side to make room for what I need to do which in this case is my art book. So I had already made this guy here. I call this Frank Ocean um, because it looks like, I don't know, a cover of his album. So this was remainder of the orange paint that I had used for that piece that I had did. And now I'm just gonna work with what we have on this paper. I don't clean off my palette because I'm lazy, um, and then I use this mason jar that I got from the dollar store. Here's a great tip, I saw this on TikTok, put rocks at the bottom of your water, your like dirty water jar that you use for your brushes, and it will just like really deep clean them, and that way you don't have dirty brushes and you don't have to deep clean your brushes all the time. Okay, so now we're speeding it up a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some red and a little bit of yellow to make an orange color. Um, I'm trying to mimic the color that I had already made, uh, which didn't go so well. I ended up making a brighter kind of like red-orange, which I still liked. I didn't mind at all, um, but it was just like a good place to start. So I went ahead and used my Beauty Blender and just blotted that everywhere to add that really cool texture and like this kind of um, gradient fade around it. Okay, so now I'm adding tape to my paper and you'll notice that I like lay it down and then I'll lift it back up again because I've noticed that, well, I don't have painter's tape to begin with. I just work with what I have. Um, but when I lift my tape up, sometimes if I paint over it before I do what I'm doing here, then it will just rip my paper, which it kind of did end up ripping my paper a little bit, but this prevented it a lot more than it would have because I've tried it and it did not go very well. So this is just the strategy that I use that works for me when I'm not using painter's tape. Um, but I really love using tape to structure out like different shapes and using different colors and contrast. I feel like it just adds such a huge what am I thinking, like statement piece to, I don't know, whatever art you're doing. Um, but I've been working on abstract recently, which is something that I haven't really done before. I've always kind of done more like realistic or liked doing realistic art. Um, but I feel like it just gives me such a break from thinking and I just get to be free and I it's a lot less stressful not having to worry about the right shading and how accurate you know each side of the face is or each side of the drawing is and you just get to kind of freely flow and do whatever you want your way um so that's why i've been doing um, a lot of abstract pieces lately but now we are going a little bit faster and i am mixing together a little bit of a lighter orange color so i'm doing a little bit more yellow a little less red and adding some white in there as well and I'm taking my beauty blender and just blending that together with that burnt orange to make it look flawless and beat to the gods. 
and then I just add a little bit more white to try to again add like that nice gradient effect so then all of the colors are going to be nicely blended together but then I messed up and I added black to it and it made this like mucky color that I didn't end up liking but you'll see how I change it later on then I just take some yellow and white and I take that around the orange that I had laid down and I stay within the diamond um, tape that I had done and I just blend everything together make sure that it is opaque and again flawless beat to the gods honey and once we take off that tape it looks beautiful well if I had painter's tape it would look a lot more satisfying but nonetheless she was snatched um so then I just go in I take it directly from the paint bottle because I'm not professional so then now I take just straight black paint because I really like that contrast of almost like a flame bright orange and yellow in contrast with like a deep dark black background um, and then look at that wow so beautiful I wish that I kept it like this and just kind of cleaned up the edges but there was so much issue in between the the white with other paints kind of bleeding through and stuff so I take this other piece of paper that I end up using as a ruler or a straight edge and I just kind of define and I take in those white corners a little bit more um and I just tried honey I did what I could with what I had um I would have left it like this but it just didn't look clean and I would have added white but the white that I have doesn't match my paper so as you can see I just do a nice little tummy tuck here and I bring her in on the edges uh, with my black paint and kind of define her a little bit more okay and time for the final reveal this is what the queen looks like ta-da I messed up the edges a little bit um that white would have looked really cool but it just didn't work out honey so this is how she looks she can be turned around all different kinds of ways um and flipped upside down amazing I love her I smack her down because she's wet I just can't lightly put her down I don't want to mess her up but I decided to also show you guys um a little bit of a flip through of some of the art that I've done and the stuff that I've created I thought it'd be fun um but all of my pages are stuck together okay let me show you what I have you guys have already seen Frankie Ocean I love this piece the contrasting colors textures shapes all of it I think it's great this is my little cow print paper when I have extra black paint I just make little cow spots and eventually it'll look like a little cow and I think that's super cute um, recently I've been working on one line faces so the ants the one that says the ants is a um, portrait of all of the ants that fell on my paper that day I didn't know that ants fell out of trees when the wind blew but they do like a lot like a, a lot of ants fell on us and I swear they were either falling out of the sky or definitely coming out of a tree anyways these are my other babies those are the fat boys the first guy is Eugene and then Biggie Baby is right under that I love them. I think they're super cute. Um, and the Fat Boys is from Alice in Wonderland. If you haven't seen Alice in Wonderland, I'm not being rude, I promise. This is Miss Beth with the cute little eye and like blinking eyelash. Love her. And then I like that other thing. I don't know what it's called, but it looks really cool. This is my happy little storm cloud. This is how I feel when I'm depressed sometimes and I thought it was kind of cute. I love this guy. I think he looks super cool. I messed him up with a little hand there, but I'm going to paint around him. Um, I think that he is super cute and moody, and I love that for him. And we are back to this little piece. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!